What's going on guys? Today we will talk about how to make a Airbnb customer support chatbot AI automation agency. So this chatbot is going to answer all of your customers or clients questions, your customers that is going to rent your property or your client's property. So for example, are pets allowed on the property? Is the swimming pool heated? How far is the nearest grocery store, etc.? This is actually, this chatbot is so uh, easy to build. And right now I'm going to show you how it works. So this is, so this is our chatbot that we are going to put onto our website. And let's say I'm, a, I, I'm looking to rent this property that it's like a villa in Los Angeles. And I want to say hi to the chatbot. It's going to say, greetings. I will be your guide in renting the luxury villa in Hollywood Hills on Airbnb. What do you like to know? Are pets allowed? So then it's going to look into its database and say pets are not allowed in this specific property. However, you can filter your search to find uh, pet friendly listings or Airbnb. What would you like to know? So this I can ask another question after this. How close is a store? The nearest grocery the nearest grocery store is approximately 0 0.5 miles away from the villa. It is easily accessible by car or a short walk. And now you see how it works. So let's go back uh, onto the presentation. How to start getting clients. First, you are going to create a quick prototype of this chatbot. Then you are going to go onto Google Maps and search for Airbnb Villa, Airbnb House, Airbnb Rent, etc. You can always ask ChatGPT for ideas, explaining it. I need, uh, I have this kind of chatbot, explain the chatbot and say what kind of Businesses can I search for on Google Maps? After that, you're gonna find their numbers and their emails, and you're gonna cold call or cold email. Cold means just that they don't know you. You're calling them, they don't know you. I would actually suggest that cold calling is way better than cold emailing. There are uh, multiple reasons for this. First of all, you need to hear uh, users or clients' objections. So if your client is running Airbnb company and you want to tell them and you want to help them, after you tell them your, uh, what you offer, they're going to object. They're going to say their issues, their problems with your offer. You're going to hear them, hear it immediately and you'll be able to adjust. If you are emailing them, first of all, they're not, they're not even going to reply most of them. And then those who do, they're going to just send some nonsense excuse. But if you are talking to them, they're going to tell you objections and uh, issues much more clearly. For example, I'm not sure if this is going to help me. Do you have proof? Do you have past experience? You know, and then you know, you know what their objections are. I think you are three times more, uh, you will succeed three times faster if you cold call than if you cold email. Another reason you want to cold call is you want to learn how to talk about your product or your company. For because eventually you're going to uh, talk to clients any client that accepts your offer, you're going to talk to them. So you need to learn how to talk to it. And you need to learn objections they have and how to deal with them. Now, when cold calling, do not waste their time. Don't ask them, how are you? It's so it's wasting their time. Say what you need to say in three sentences. Hello, my name is Wook. We are making an AI chatbot that provides customer support for your clients. It answers any questions like, are pets allowed on this property? How far is the closest uh, grocery store, etc." If you'd like to know more uh, how we can help automate your customer support and sales, I will explain. This is like, say it even quicker and even with fewer words than this. You can measure the quality of your cold call, of your sales pitch by how well you explain divided by the amount of words you use. Do not waste their time. How much to charge? Charge $500 for the first clients because you don't have any past experience. I would actually say, Charge even 200, it doesn't matter. Charge anything you can sell it for. It's way better to charge right now 200 than to wait five months to get a $500 client. Because first of all, you're gonna get paid to learn. Your first goal is to learn. If you can get paid to learn, it's even better. Second, if you don't get clients, you're not even gonna learn, you're just gonna delay. You're not gonna learn. Okay, so it's the most important part is get clients, get experience, get uh, so you can tell next clients that you had past clients.
slowly increase to $1,000 to $5,000 for other clients. Keep increasing the price until they are complaining but still paying. If they don't complain about the price is too low. Do not overprice and lose clients. Don't be afraid of mistakes because you will make them. So the most important thing, every next customer, every next client, slowly increase price until if they are not complaining, the price is too low. Okay, this is it when it comes to presentation. Now I'm going to tell you how to build this bot. It's actually so simple. You can see right here, it's very small, very simple. So we're going to start with a text field. Greetings, I will be your guide in renting the luxury villa in Hollywood Hills on Airbnb. Now, <clears throat> you can do specifically for this house or you could, well, you should, you should have a, a chatbot for each property specifically. Below that, we have an expression that has condition to true. So it will always transition into the next node. The next node has enable knowledge answering. So this should be enabled. So this should be enabled. This will allow the AI to look at our knowledge base and answer questions the user has. The first field it has is raw input field. You're going to go here to the side and you're going to choose this raw input field. It is right here. Or you can choose any input field and go here and uh, filter by raw input and then click this to turn it to raw input field. Below you say what questions are you going to ask the user? What would you like to know, for example? Okay. And this will automatically answer the question by looking into our knowledge base of our data that I will show you soon. Below this input field, we have a transition that is an expression, expression field right here. It has condition to true. It will transition back into the same node to ask the question again. This will infinitely ask this same question. What would you like to know? We don't need to end the conversation. So, and at the end, I will also show you like the knowledge base. So you go ahead to the left side and then you say, add knowledge base right here on this book button. And then it's gonna add a new knowledge base. You can rename it to, for example, Airbnb data, like I did it, did it here. Description, Airbnb data, it doesn't matter. Add a new knowledge source and choose plain text and paste this text that will be in the description below this video. So here I just described this property in detail property name, uh, location, etc. And then I made some FAQs, fr uh, frequently asked questions, question is smoking allowed and then answer, are pets allowed, then answer. I actually generated all of this with ChatGPT. You can ask ChatGPT, uh, generate frequently asked questions for this property. This is its name, this is its location, this is uh, its description. And then you can ask, and then it will generate all of these questions. And you can say also like an example would be is smoking allowed and then answer all of the questions you generate. Our main, like your main sales pitch here is that before, before this AI, if you want to automatically answer questions, the questions must be exact letter by letter, word by word. So <clears throat> the user must ask is smoking allowed in the villa? They cannot ask, can I smoke? Because <clears throat> you would then need to make a separate case for that question, can I smoke? So you would need to make program by hand every possible question they can ask. But here, the AI is going to, if they say, can I smoke? The AI is going to recognize that they are asking about this question, is smoking allowed? And it's going to answer, the smoking is not allowed. It's either going to copy paste this answer or it's going to rephrase it in, its own words, but the AI is going to recognize what it, what the user is asking and it's going to find information in this text that you pasted here, the entire text. All this will be below. This is it, this is so simple. Thank you for watching. Make sure to build this prototype and make sure to cold call and to show the prototype. I will actually be um, doing this on my own. I'm gonna be cold calling. I'm gonna be like building these things, selling. I'm gonna be sh uh, documenting the whole process. After I make a bunch of these tutorials, so on my channel, you can find these, all of these tutorials, all of the, all of the things about AI automation agencies, bot press, etc. So you can subscribe to stay in the loop and thank you for watching and see you in the next video.